put me down in the, took me out of the shop and put me down in a room with all these engineers. They all had desks. And I come in there with two toolboxes on a wagon and a white, white apron and a coat. They hooked me up with a guy named Ed Karras. And he was a uh, boot sailor, what I call a boot, what they call a boot sailor. He got in the Navy as a plain old boot. And he worked his way up, and he was trying to get a commission. And uh, he was a, well, uh, the highest he could get in the chief. Chief Warren, I think it is, Warren officer. But he wasn't commissioned. And he was taking all kind of courses and he, uh, he specialized in nuclear energy and nuclear measurements. And uh, he became an ace at that. Uh, 1950, they were to build a nuclear powered airplane. That's the way I got it. It was going to be a seaplane, big. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the Navy right away wanted to know what effect nuclear energy was going to do from the reactor and so forth was going to do to the airborne equipment that they had. So he set up this lab. Now he must have been working on that long before I met him. And he had a lot of things set up and going when I got there. They put me in this room. Now this was in Building 2 basement. And it later became, when I was there, it became a secure, what they called a black area. Okay. And it was offices, but it was such that it was very secure. And they did, a, they did you know, top secret or better work in there. And they made this, they dug this tunnel underneath mm -hmm. from that room back out towards Jacksonville Road, underground, actually under, under the building. Yeah. Everything you see in there, I either designed it or had it made. Wow, well this is a first. We did, I've never heard of this. Yeah, when I was down here to talk to Charlie a month ago, that's the first I knew about it. Wow. And a lot of people don't know about it, I'm sure. It was um, tough. What kinds of, um, did you build the detectors yourself? Yeah, I did that, but the, what I'm telling you here, I, I set up this lab. All of all of all the furniture you see in here, and the, the handle these isotopes. We bought the first radioisotopes from Oak Ridge that were ever released. 